What is up guys, this is my review for the ReACC X220S, it's the Ishing Wizard carrying case, and I will be taking advantage of this opportunity to maybe show what I take when I go flying, give you guys a couple of ideas. Okay, so the bag is very well made, the zippers are standard zippers you know i don't feel them to be extra tough or prone to breaking the outside is don't be fooled by the illusion it's obviously not true carbon fiber it is a soft squishy plastic you know i was expecting it maybe to be just a little bit harder but it is resistant to scratching so it works just fine Now on the inside, foam inserts are for the control, four batteries, two antennas, the drone itself, and you have extra pockets plus a zipper up top to store whatever you want to keep. Now my personal choices have been, I have my two antennas, yeah, the drone, this is just a voltage alarm that I purchased. Uh, light bulb socket to a plug since you know when I'm out in the field and I don't see a plug around anywhere I can just take out a light bulb and plug in to charge steal people's power <laughs> um the batteries you know standard stock on the wizard I have two fit into their pockets just fine snug and tight this long pocket uh not really sure what it was for I'm thinking maybe the charger but I don't carry that around in the bag I just leave that in the car so I'm using this for my zippy compact it's the 1800 milliamp 40c 4s I definitely recommend this for your wizard it is a very good upgrade you know the C rating is lower but if you're starting out and you maybe want to get a little bit more fly time and feel a little bit safer with the power you're getting out, this is a good upgrade. I, I think a lot of my progress in flying the Wizard has been due to this battery, which I will be doing a review video of later. Okay, this is a little box that I got, just extra tools and cable ties, shrink tubes. This is my self-made fat shark battery. One, one. Here I have a spare camera, spare lens and receiver module for my fat shark. Just in case. This is the stock fat shark battery right here. Obviously the receiver in the middle, which I will be getting into that pretty soon. The LipoPal voltage checker and equalizer. I already did a video on this. Very well recommended. Go get it on Banggood. Good for your field kit, just like this bag. Now into the control. Let's let me start by showing you this. The control, the fly sky that you receive with your wizard has this little handle which is bent down so it makes it kind of angled like that when you set it down it sits very deep into the pocket which i felt was kind of a like a loss of space so i put this little foam insert from the foam that i received the wizard in cut out a big square about that size about this deep so the control now sits flush keeping that space empty down here using that for spare props and also my fat shark antennas go there they're just out right now because I was using it so now the control sits flush on the bag looking very neat as far as the top zipper goes it is extremely spacious this is my drone first aid kit a uh, tool choice bag it had just a whole bunch of cheap pliers in it 
but I decided to reuse it. Now I have Loctite tweezers, single blades, uh, brush, the ReACC motor clamp along with the STP key. You know, just some things and a hefty little zip tie just in case something goes down. I have that handy. This is the HyperTough bit kit. Um, yeah, just from Sears or Walmart. Very cheap, very well. Have not had any trouble with shredding or anything like that with that kit. Now, this is an SJ Cam case that I had laying around that I used to use for my GoPro. Um, I repurposed it for just storage of props and other things that I may not want to have poking around or knocking about up there on the zipper. Uh, as you can see on my hand, this is pretty big and thick, hard, so it's not very bendy. And I have absolutely no trouble having all of this fit on that top portion of the bag and being able to zip up without making any pressure. So the bag is very spacious and will fit anything that you can imagine bringing along you know anything that you might need you'll definitely find space and some extra for the things that you might want to bring very well recommended very well made I've been using it for about a month now and have not had any degrading issues uh, such as peeling on the markings or zippers locking up very good